dragging and dropping effects. <coughs> now this is the new revised three-way color corrector. It's just as powerful as it was before, but we've refined it in such a way that it's easier to find features that have been here for a while, things that have been in this like secondary color correction. I've always had people come up and ask, when is Premiere Pro going to have secondary color correction? And it's had it since 2005. It's just been maybe hidden away a little bit. So we've gone in and refined the user interface for this, made it much easier to use, and uh, again, with that uninterrupted playback, I can start to make refinements and changes to this footage. As the clip is playing back, I can actually start to tweak and make changes on a moving video clip instead of having to pause the frame. Again, uninterrupted playback works even if I'm dragging and dropping additional effects onto the timeline. I'm going to show you one more example of this. Let me go ahead and delete this adjustment layer. And I'm going to put up and just, if you haven't played with adjustment layers before, if you're really focused on core editing, adjustment layers can really help with things like graphics and titles. So here I've created just a, a simple title graphic. And now in CS6, I have the ability to right click on this and I can just toggle on and turn this into an adjustment layer. So anything that has an alpha channel, and this goes for moving video layers as well. If you have a quick time with alpha, you can just right click on it in the timeline and turn it into an adjustment layer. So when I do this, I'll go ahead and turn this into an adjustment layer. It seems to disappear, but now when I start to add effects to this, I'll keep the timeline playing back here as I do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with a blur effect here. And we'll just drop this up here and I'll start to blur this. Can you see what it's doing? It's going to blur within the outline of the adjustment layer. It's not blurring the text, but it's blurring the pixels underneath. Now that's a little too hard to see. It's nice and subtle, but I want it uh, a little bit easier to read. So let's make a color change here. So I'll go ahead and add a fast color corrector. Nice big control here, a lot of variation. I'll go ahead and pull this out. And now I'm getting a bit of a color to this. Maybe that's the wrong color. It matches that orange a little too much, so we'll go the opposite direction here. And now, if I want to continue to play with this, this really opens up the power of something called opacity blending modes. Now with this, I can start to pick and choose between different blending modes.